Hey guys, this lesson we are going to talk about how to import source code for Tony Pi AI Advanced Lessons and open permissions. The image for the AI Vision Games lessons were burned in the Tony Pi before shipping. Before starting AI transfer and object tracking in the folder Advanced Program Lessons, AI Advanced Lesson, please burn the system image by yourself. This is the preparation for the Advanced Games to show you how to import the source code into Raspberry Pi and enable the permission to import the file. Except that, if you accidentally write the wrong code and cannot restart the initial program, you can also follow the exception to re-import the source code to restore the default program. Firstly, turn on Tony Pi and connect to VNC. Before importing source code, we need to delete the existing source code for AI Vision games. Now, find the functions folder according to the path and delete it. If there are additional code files saved in the folder, it is recommended to back the files up so as not to lose it. Now right click to delete the file. We can import the source code now. Move the mouse to VNC desktop menu bar and click file transfer icon. Then click send files in the VNC viewer dialog box. In the pops up VNC viewer send files dialog, go to the folder Appendix source code, click functions, and then use entire folder. Okay, select yes in the pops up box. After transferring, functions folder will be displayed in the desktop. Open functions folder, you can not only find the program files of AI Vision games, but also the program files of AI Advanced games. Now, Copy the functions folder to the corresponding path. OK, we have imported source code. Due to the app setting was delayed at the beginning, we need to turn on the AI Vision Games permission for the app. Please know that Tony Pi Advanced Program can't be controlled by app. Now, open the XL terminal. Enter the command line as shown to send permissions to the file, and then press Enter. Then, enter the command line as shown, restart the Raspberry Pi to update the system. After the Tony Pi thumbstick sound, it means that Tony Pi restarts successfully. Okay, this is the end of the video. Please have a try.